What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to the Lifestyle Podcast. I am your host, Sonic. And I'm your co-host, Snuff. So, what's on the agenda today? All right. And I'm noticing as the sad boy stickers decline Mm -hmm. and, you know, we move towards mental health for men Mm -hmm. and acknowledging people for respecting build because you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Sadly, the world we're living in today, yes. I'd like to have a conversation about the car community and mental health. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for listening, guys. Bye. No, I'm kidding. No, <laughs> just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> well, All right. What about it? Go. People like me and you, in mm-hmm. the situations we get into in our lives and it happens to us, Yes. we tend to bury ourselves in our car. Mm, very true. Very true. And although it's a very valuable coping mechanism, it kind of puts the blinders on you and kind of more or less blocks out reality because you kind of focus on your car. It's tunnel vision. To an extent, it's a no. It's a perfect example how to pretty much <coughs> how to pretty much explain it. Actually, yeah. Go on. Um, we're good. We're I'm, good. I'm having a hard time hearing you. Really? I don't know why. Because I can hear myself perfectly fucking fine. I had to make sure. No, no, we're good. Oh no, no, I can hear you now. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Would you have to turn yours on? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, and I'm noticing more and more, and I'm not going to get into our personal lives, mm-hmm. but I'm going to use my example. Okay. Okay. Um, as my grandmother was passing, mm-hmm. I noticed that I focused a little bit more on my car. Yeah, yeah, you did. And yeah. it was an easy way to hide under the bed, to, so to say. It's 100% a good, well, not that saying it's good. I mean, it's it's one of those things. If it works for you, it works for it's you. It's a good outlet to channel it, energy But that's into. a better way of saying it, yes. I do believe that's a better outlet. I always think the car stuff is a better outlet to, for anything and everything, to be 100% honest with you. Yeah. Uh, I've met people that have completely rebuilt their cars on just a simple breakup. Yeah, do, you see it. You know what I mean? That's a, a, oh, granted, not a simple. Breakup, no, no, no. But you know, but but you know what you I mean. You see what I'm trying to get at today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean. Um, huh. And I, like I said, I've seen people. You found that quick. Yeah, no, because I've, I've come across, I've met those people. I've been that person. You've lived that? Yeah, With, yeah. Through what car? Um, I love how you just said with which what car with yeah because let's be honest oh uh, shadow shadow actually shadow and what parts of it did you get done uh fucking everything well I completely changed the look on the truck so I you know got bored of the front bumper the bumper was fine but I just decided to do a different front bumper uh different paint scheme uh you just you know what it is it's I mean granted everybody goes to like a breakup. Let's face it. That's just how it is. Uh, but or, we're or talking. A loss. But we're talking at a a very growing up level. So that's why I'm starting with like uh, relationships. Uh, granted, a family member loss is much higher up. In that's the, a motor swap. Yeah, exactly. That's a higher up in the Richter <laughs> scale. My personal opinion. Um, but regardless, nonetheless, it's one of those things that you know. Instead of it puts you in a bad place. It puts you in a bad place, but. The car is not really a bad place when you think about it. It makes you happy. It makes you happy. It's your escape. You do block everything out because why? You have to focus on what the hell you're doing and in front of you. It's such a nice Band-Aid. And it is a Band-Aid. Sadly, it's a fucking Band-Aid. Um, what happens is you go through, well, certain people go through different things in life that, not that they're like, you know, back to back. But in the course of, of their lifetime, you can see like, you know, boom, 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 another thing, another thing, another thing, that the Band-Aid just becomes like duct tape. It sticks forever? Yeah. You get to just, when you automatically your car becomes your, your go-to. The Band-Aid turns into a snap-on zip tie. Yeah, pretty much. It's one of those things that, you know, I only say this because for anything, even in my own life, I start getting mad or I get fucking upset or something just annoys me or pisses me off really good. Block everything out and I work on the car. That's it. That's it. But what happens with me is I will completely zone the fuck out and I will really like go in. Like I will go into working on the car and get shit done. And then just be like, ah, next. <laughs> like, <laughs> so what? As... You start getting, not like I said, you're finished with your car. I've always said it. You're never done. But as you get to a point that you're happy on how your build looks, 
and a problem happens mm -hmm. or something happens, you, you really can't, your car is not becoming your scapegoat anymore to a certain degree because let's be for real. Even you, common sense, are just like, no, I don't want to re rip that off because that was a pain in the ass. So I'm going to start collecting Hot Wheels and just go buck wild into collecting <laughs> fucking Hot Wheels. Um, but again, that's just talking to talk. Hold on. To be fair, Hot Wheels are still part of the car community. Oh, yeah. No, 100%. But it's one of those things that you just find something to semi-replace. The next thing. The next thing. All right. So uh -huh, go. This whole thing started on a Reddit post that I read. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, two guys in the Navy live in California, but their cars are registered in Arizona. Okay. So you can technically modify your car and not have to worry about getting pulled over in California. Okay, yes, because they're anal as shit. Okay. Um, the one friend lost his family in a horrific accident. Um, like the entire family? Yeah. What was that thing that happened in Columbia with the earthquake or whatever the shit was? Uh, okay, I think I remember reading something about it or seeing something like that on the news yesterday. The guy lost his whole family. Mm. God, that's fucking horrific. Holy shit. One of his bunkies, or like his roommates, I guess you could call it. On, okay. On the, um, what do you call the thing that goes underwater? A submarine? On the submarine, because they were in the Navy. <laughs> okay. Um, went out and said, all right, listen, after this, we're going to make it through this. We're going to make it through this. We're going to make it through this. No. Mm. They're living on the submarine for months. He can't leave the submarine. No shit. He's got to eat this. And then when he gets out, he has nobody. Oh, God, that fucking blows. His boy bought him a $2,000 Miata and dragged him to every car meet, show, you name it, Cars Coffee, did it. Okay, so that slowly started becoming the scapegoat. Not, not in much as in working on the car, but... In conjunction of working on the car and showing it off on the weekends, showing on the car or drive night, you know, driving around at night. Okay, I get it. Okay. The story was told. My friend bought me a Miata. That's a pretty dope way to start it. Okay. <sighs> Yo, I can get chills thinking about it, but that's pretty cool though. In my head, I think my heart of hearts. I think somebody loves somebody enough to know that this is the answer. That everything we have together as a community is together. Yeah, yeah. You know what makes it. Cool, even if he wasn't into cars. No, the kid wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't a car guy at all. So it's one of those things that you took a shot and be like, no, 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 this is going to work. But then ready for this? He had downtime, so he ordered a front bumper. He had downtime, so he ordered side skirts. I get it. And little by little. Okay. Dude, how crazy is that? It's cool because... Little by little, you are helping another person yeah. get through. I mean, just be for real. That's not something easy to get over. You know, it, it just isn't. The whole fucking not family. Not when it's the whole family. God forbid. Uh, but that be, well, I can see how that can slowly become, like to say if a thought would come in or a memory would like kind of pop in your head. You go online and look, I'm not, for, and look for a part. I'm not sure if it was Columbia, but it was an earthquake in like over there. I think I remember seeing something about it. It was one of those big ass ones where like there was a mudslide, if I'm not mistaken. Something and, like that. And it yeah. It took out like a, a, a town or something like that, if I remember right. Um, it's just cool. It's just cool all the way around just because. Wow, the mudslide was cool? Not the fucking mudslide. You're going to hell on a jet. Not the fucking mudslide. Oh, my fucking God. Here we go. Uh, Hate mail to C4. <laughs> uh, no, like honestly, getting somebody that doesn't care about cars, or at least from what we, from what you gathered read, or gathered from the info, and completely turning them into a car guy. And if I had to put my money on it, I'm pretty sure the Miata is like dope as shit. Miata's done. Like, I'm pretty sure it's like mean as fuck. I can well, only imagine. In my heart of hearts, I want to believe that it's a wide body bag, three piece wheels Miata. Now, okay, now, on a funny note, how much would it piss you off if he just did like wheels and a tints? He said that he bought like a body kit for it, but he bought it in pieces. Oh, okay. Damn it. You completely killed it for me. But whatever, fine. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, I think it is dope because honestly, like I said, I believe this car game is a beautiful example of escaping from reality a little bit. Yeah. 
Um, also, hold on. Hear me what? out. For the weekend, you do get to go to the show. For the evening that you do get to go to the meet, mm. and you catch those six or seven photographers snapping off, and the couple that walks over because they have to look at your car, and they do fucking two, three, four laps around it. Look yeah. at that. Look at that. Yeah. The one guy who sticks his head in it. And he's, all you see is like legs and ass hanging out. <laughs> Dude, for that little bit, you're a fucking superstar. It's true. It's true. I can see how that slowly becomes like... A nice pat on the back. A nice pat on the back type It's thing. a warm hug. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. I've seen also the case of uh, the guys that have been in wars. They come overseas back uh, to kind of not cure the their whole, husband, their wife's pregnant with a... With the milkman's children? No, we're not going that route today, okay, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, they come back with, like, PTSD type of thing and all that, or whatever the fuck it is. And instead of remembering all the stuff from, like, the war and, like, people, or their friends dying, their teammates dying, all that mess of shit, they got it head in deep into the cars. Mm. And yeah. it helps. And it helps. I've seen that actually a lot. Well, online. they make new friends doing that. And they make new friends. So it's one of those things that, you know, it's, I've always said it. The car game is a beautiful thing. It's, it sucks the way we're, everybody's seeing it now. Well, that's because of takeover kids. Because of takeover kids and, and everything guess what? else. If a takeover kid family died in Colombia. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Come on, don't let me down now. Don't fucking let me down now, I'd damn it. I'd still be sort of sad. <laughs> that was, that was not what I was expecting. Heartfelt, heartfelt, heartfelt. I was not expecting that. Okay. Um. It just, I don't know, it's one of those things. I, I, even going down to, you know, talking about, you know, losing a family member, everything else, but you were saying about Wild. Your, it, it, we're saying about dude, I lived that. Uh, I, I mean, I saw it. I lived it. I lived it. I saw you going through it. But instead of, a nor- I, you know what, let me say it like this. A normal person will give you a hug, a pat, uh, uh, tell you I'm sorry, you know, for the loss, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I handed you a wrench. Yeah, yeah. I didn't hug you, because I didn't. And you point out that my fitment was whack. <laughs> so that we got to go to Ace Works and fucking <laughs> down by Amanda. Uh, no, but yeah, in, yeah, in yeah. reality, I did no, I didn't give you a hug. No. I, we, we should do that different. We should do that different. I was like, uh, listen, Carbon's cracked over there. Let's fix that. Uh, here's a wrench. Uh, we're going to do this over here. We're going to break the other side with this, this wrench, this, because gonna, a wrench has nothing to do with carbon fiber. <laughs> at all at all people at all it's just as, that's as good as like blinker fluid um but it, but it worked it helped yes it did to a certain degree of course uh at least for like the full brunt it helped so you know just I mean? hold on things. guys you guys heard the last episode about when to ask somebody after their grandparents have passed probably a good time to ask them then because they will bury their heads in your project and finish it most likely depending on how much they love their grandmother if they didn't at all you might get some plastic dip on your wheels and that's it <laughs> uh, maybe to overlay on the taillights yeah yeah, yeah. that's it uh, but it, it I, I believe it helped you not like I'm saying oh my god you're cured you're never gonna you know feel you're never gonna cry again yeah right you know what I mean you're never gonna feel sad or whatever but at least for the brunt of it, yeah, I do believe you, you can thank your Z to that 100%. Because you went from one idea to another, from another to another. You were like fucking going nuts looking online at other cars to get ideas. And you buried yourself in it. Immersed. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Unless you're a car guy or a car girl, you're not going to get it. People are not going to understand this well, we're episode. Making, no, hold on. We're you know I mean? making this podcast for those people. Uh, but we're at least trying our best to explain the mentality behind it. A lot, Because in this game, I've pretty much my entire life that I've been in this, I've met the people that get into this because it's not going to remind them of who they lost. Member. Also, that shout out. Lost. Hold on. Shout yeah. out our members in Ghana. Uh, yes, actually, yeah, you Ghana guys, thank you for making us top 20 podcast in West South, Af- uh, West Africa. There's like six guys in the shop right now. Yeah, hey, <laughs> that's us. us. <laughs> you motherfuckers don't answer our polls. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> uh, do you, you don't even want to know what we just did. But anyway, uh, Ghana, thank you again. Top 20 podcast. So that's very cool. Uh, in the U.S., 
137? Uh, well, no, globally we are ranked right now 140, 142 or 147, one of those two. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. In the in the big scheme of things, that's that's pretty cool. That's a fucking W in my book. Uh, but to go back to this, um, I've met people that, again, have gotten into this car game because they don't want to remember a family member that passed, you know, they really cherished. I've met the person that really bad breakup and you know what? I'm going to try this car stuff out for a bit. And they've built some crazy fucking cars. Um, Ready for this? I'm going to give you another one. Have you been hurt by something so bad you kind of want to hold on to the pain because it's the last part of that thing you have? No. Never? No. You've never... All right. So, ready for this? I'm going to explain something to you. Okay, go. This is... People will really hurt hurt bad. They might know what this is. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, You get hurt by a person so bad Mm -hmm. that you're okay with hurting because it's the last feeling you're going to have about that person. Wow, that is deep. That's so deep, that's not even for this episode. Hold on. That's for another podcast. <laughs> um, no, actually... I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. If you convey that... No, I get 100% to, what you're saying. Hold on, because mm. I've been there with somebody. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but if you you can convey that to that old Chevy commercial... Oh my God, I couldn't see that. I couldn't see that. Are we about to get hit by a plane? No, that's the Probably. airport. Okay. Um, I could... You know what? Am I right or wrong? 100%. 100%. Tell to me. this day, I still cannot see. Now, for those that are not... Uh, Privy to the commercials. Yeah, that don't know their ass from their elbow. Chevy came out with this. What was this? A fucking Christmas? Last year. La- okay, it was last year's Christmas I, commercial. For, no, the year before last, because I saw it last year and I cried like a little bitch. I swear to God, I started feeling very weird. Oh, f- f- those that don't... I'm not a guy that cries. Like, I just don't cry. But I was, like, feeling really fucking weird. I was like, uh... uh uh, I was just making sound effects. I was like, I'm not watching this shit. Boop. I just fucking changed it. I was like, get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> Corny ass shit. I was like, kudos, Chevy. Kudos. Good job. Motherfuckers hit you where it hurt. So tell them the story. Um, if I remember right, the storyline of the commercial, it's somebody that passed. It was a grandfather and a granddaughter. Right, and they were building the car for the mm-hmm. grandmother, I believe. Mm-hmm. So they had taken it. They had, I think the... They put had, it in a barn. They put it in a barn or whatever, and they and slowly started working on it. And I think for that Christmas... They were going to give it to her. They drove it. So it was like a flashback of, you know, all the memories, all the cool stuff that they had when they were younger. Just thinking about it, I started getting chills. Um, but it's, just, it's the same feeling. I get it. Like I said, I get it. This, this car game, people think... Well, better said, the, the ones that look at it from the outside in... They Outsiders. Think they really just look at us like, you know, Fast and the Furious, uh, Tokyo Drifting, or what they see online with the takeovers, or uh, just all the dumb shit. Not that it's an expression of who we are, or what we're about, or our creativity, but, or energy into exactly. it. Exactly. Really down, like, if you really had to pick it apart, we're, we have all landed in this car hobby. Maybe, yes, to a certain degree... Okay, perfect example. My dad was a wrencher when he was young. Mm -hmm. So it kind of trickled down to me. Never to the extent that I've done. You know, you you ask my dad now, did you do this? My dad's going to be like, get the fuck out of here. Hell no. This guy's fucking retarded. He's a racer. (laughs) You know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? There was a a seed planted, I guess you could say. And I kind of went my own way with it. But other people... Really down the line is either some type of tragic hit or a tragic loss or a breakup or just something negative that has happened to them. Enough to be like, I need something to help me cope. Called an outlet. Some type of outlet. You know what I mean? And if what they have is a car, (coughs) they're just going to sit there and just be like. What can I do to this? I wonder if there's. Because that's how it usually starts to be like, hmm. I wonder what's all. I wonder what they have for this. That's how it all starts. Yo, that is such a dangerous fucking question. That is how it all starts. You ask any car person, and you go on eBay and you search your year, make a model. Not even perfect. Uh, Google even. Yeah, you just literally just Google your car, or you just always add custom, and you just hit images, and that's it. That's all it really takes. You can go down like three, four pages. All you really need is a picture of one car. 
to be like, oh, that's it. And that's where the fucking itch hits. Are ready for this? I'm going to say something stupid. You can kill me to death if you want to. Oh, I can't wait. Modifying your car is a lot like an escalator. How often do you see people go off the escalator? All the time. No, come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm being serious. I'm being yeah, dead no, I serious get it. Right I now. get it. I get it. Once you're on, dude, you're on till you're it's on. over. You're on till it's over. It's funny how you even say it like that because even going back to the last few episodes, even talking back with my OGs, ever since I started doing now the Flashback Fridays, we're just like reminiscing old pictures of like the crew and all that. They're all coming out of the woodwork. And they're looking at the escalator like, that looks fun. And they're just like, oh man, I, rem- I remember the escalator. In in their in their yeah, world, yeah. it's like damn no, not chill. I remember the escalator, and like and I was just quiet going through the comments, and you see all the old guys that were in the old photos, like talking back to each other. Yo, how you been? Yo, same. What you got? Three kids. You four. <laughs> you yeah. know and that type of shit. How you been? Good. You still got the car? Yeah. And me? No, nah, I sold it, but I regret it though because that's the line. That's the line I always get. Um, but I was just quiet. They didn't really chime in. I was just like, it was just fun to see the interaction. Again, but they always say it. They're no, no, no. You guys are fucking crazy. You guys, it was always fucking fun with you guys, you know, and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it goes down to like, again, reminiscing back with the OGs. But it, ready for this? Even that is a heartfelt memory that you guys got to spend a lot of time together and have a lot of good times. A lot. Way too much to even talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Way too much to talk about. That'll be for the next episode, I promise. But... Again, it's something to keep your mind busy. Yeah. It's a pure hobby. Yeah. You're not out there doing drugs. You don't have the money to do drugs if you're <laughs> it's just true. Your car. It's true. A hundred percent. You know how many times I've come across people that like dead ass. They'll be like, nah, bro, it was either fucking cocaine or like I'm gonna like work on my car. I just decided to work on my car. <laughs> and you're expecting a joke out of it, but no, they were dead ass serious. Stone like, face. Yeah, they were dead ass serious. No, nah, no, nah, working on the car is cheaper. Well, this was back then. I'm pretty sure it was the reverse now, but <laughs> you don't know that. Um, but uh, like I said, I've gotten or I've even gotten OG members before they were even members. I'll have one guy, you know, fill out the application. I'll look at the car, be like, "All right, it's good. I accept you." Boom, boom. We'll all meet up at the first show. They get to hang out with us. Really meet the rest of the guys. Long story short, goes after the show. We're all packing up. So how'd you like everything? No, I love it. Thank you guys are dope. You guys are so much fun. Blah blah blah. Yo, I think I got a guy that might like be a perfect fit in. Okay. So my line is always the same. Do they bring you a headache? Because if they bring you one, they're gonna bring me double. I remember that line. No, no, no. He's really fun. To be honest, just got over a breakup. He's like really fucking like down. And I think this is gonna be like it for him. And it was. And it was, and the motherfucker showed, and the guy had a hell of a fucking Camaro. That's not Cheech. Don't tell me that's fucking Cheech. <laughs> Don't tell me that's Cheech. And you know what? It worked, and it was fun. Oh, my heart. Does but, Cheech listen to this? No, I don't think so. I think uh, I, don't, I don't think he listens. Uh, all right, uh, so hold on. Let me just paint the picture for the listener that I What got. type of picture you no, want no, to stop. talk I'm not going to go into detail. I don't care because we got some good stuff. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get fucking sucio. <laughs> Um, that means how fucking dirty. Uh, this, the picture that's been painted to me of this guy was more or less a guy who said, all right, this Party is, animal. This chapter of my life is over. So now because I was single and faithful, I'm going to go through with it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have some fun now. I'm, I'm, if it's got a skirt, I'm sticking it in it. And when I tell you, boy, oh boy. They once did a, a, put a skirt Man, on a pencil sharpener. He got, was in trouble. He had to go to the hospital. <laughs> we got video proof of everything. But anyway. <laughs> but, you know, and that's how, you know, half of them got in. Some type of a backstory like that is my point. Hmm. Other people that got crews that listen to this, pretty sure you have one or two of your members that either brought somebody else in because something happened and, like, you're like, no, 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 this is, he's going to vibe so well in this clique or this group or this, you know, whatever. It's going to be perfect. And you know what? It actually was. Well, still is because, you know, you know, whatever it is. Um, but it's just wild when you really sit down and think about it because you really don't know anyone's real backstory. Huh. 
until you really sit down and like start having conversations with people. Here, I'm gonna start, t- hold on. I'm going to tell right, you the go, other part of that. Go, go. <coughs> Sorry, guys. We're, we're all still sick. <laughs> um, you're going into this group and they don't know you from a can of paint. Yeah, pretty much. So they don't see that. Let's just say Maria broke up with Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a perfect example. So you're coming in as a fresh slate. It's a, exactly that. It's it, it's such a fresh fresh slate to, to start. Fresh breath with, of air. Yep. A fresh breath of air. Um, hell, we know people now with some, you know, technically the same. Oh, shit, yeah. Same type of backstory. I didn't think about that. And it's beautiful when you think about it. And it works out. And it works out. And the fresh air becomes something, ah, you know what? This is nice. And I get to keep the house. Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Yeah, but, but you know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. We don't have to go too far down me talking to you about the OGs. We have now. It's what We're watching that shit happen. We're watching it happen. Can I, can I tell the story without saying a name? Uh, Probably not for the meantime. I don't know. Just for the, you know, not yet. Not yet. No. <laughs> No, yeah. We can just easily say that the the same type of example we've been saying, where we've kind of seen it, but actually by accident because I just had the brain fart. Now I was like, oh shit, penalty. I don't have to go that far because it it's happened. It is a good cars are definitely a good outlet for any emotional struggles. I don't care what anybody says, and I'm not talking about oh going out and doing donuts. That doesn't count. No, 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 no. no. I'm talking about for the real. Uh, person who wants to do something productive with their lives. Exactly, exactly. Who wants to make a change, who wants to see better for themselves, who wants to grow intellectually, mentally, physically, everything. Because guess what? Trust me, test you working on your car will test your patience, will test that forearm strength, mental durability, everything. Because trust me, when you're trying to line up a fucking bolt and it just won't go, and you say, fuck it, zip tie it. (laughs) The rush, it's real. Um, If there's one thing I have to really thank the car game for for me anyway for me anyway is my level of patience you think that i do have to thank i just the, thought you were on the spectrum a little bit i love you no see no, how no. i follow that up with that oh yeah no i, I, I like how you did that. i like to draw a cartoon on my car <laughs> <laughs> um no but really i was just quick tempered sonic run fast i was literally quick tempered when i started and i couldn't fucking wrench for more than 20 minutes because i'll just get mad call real slow though yeah no extremely slow uh i like blue (laughs) (laughs) she looks fast parked though uh yeah she really does that's the crazier part but you know having to work on your car Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, wrench mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. no other way really to do it because either you didn't have enough money at the time you want to get something done so you know what you just got to get your hands dirty swap out an exhaust you know swap out something anything and little by little, as the years, you know, you know, car after car after car, it's all taught me more patience and more patience. Don't get me wrong. I have my days. I want to fucking set it on fire. Like how many? Okay, for example, how many times we were working for a fucking Amanda's car? How many times I want to take a fucking wrench to it, just beat the crap out of the car and go home? Hold on, hold on. So first things first. Amanda's <laughs> cars were very interesting because the paint that they ordered was like iridescent paint. So you have like 18 layers on it and you need a cool base coat. And not even then. Which to say, I'm still right till this day about that base coat. Oh no, 100%. We just made it work. Made it work? That was That's the fucking define... This, the definition of making it work. No, no. That is the deciding factor of the final tone of that paint. Yes, but we made it work. I don't care what anybody tells me. Whatever. We made it fucking work. We made it fucking work so hard it's stupid. But again... Even to this day. And some asshole won't let her drive it. Yeah, you're right. I'm the asshole. <laughs> I got your back, boo. I got your back. <laughs> I'm the asshole. I'm king asshole. Um, but even now to this day, even working on my own stuff, if something goes, I kind of mm, stop, breathe. <sighs> Let's try this again. But I do have to thank really the car game for really helping me in the patience department. That now it's just like, meh, whatever. Like, for the dumber shit, it's it's wild. It's wild when you think about it. That's why, like I said, I've had so many. I, I've had the pleasure of meeting so many people with different backstories. As you get to meet them, you know they slowly start opening up and tell you the backstories yeah. type of thing. Um, that when you really hear the, you know, I joined, 
I got into this car thing because of this, or I got this car thing because of that. I yeah. Got, uh, what was it? I think one one of the wildest stories I ever got was, oh, you know, that drinks beats on my mom type shit. I, I I can't stand it. It hurts. It sucks. I blah blah blah, and literally the only thing I had was like this old fucking Honda that my fucking grandfather left me, and I want to do something productive. Yo, he made something productive out of it. Motherfucker was spanking first place and winning winning best of shows. Well. With a four door Civic, ninety six. I can't make that make sense. You know what I mean? Shaved doors, slammed to the ground, full kit, custom paint, candy color. Probably all fulfillment by today's standards. Today's standards, yes, because back then it was tucking. You know, the lower you look, the better it looked. If you ain't tucking, you ain't fucking. Yeah, 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 yeah. that was the line. Yes, yeah. that was the line. Yeah, yeah. Um, but again, you hear these backstories that one leave you kind of like, hmm? what the fuck. All right. And the other, you're just like... <laughs> All right, there's Cinderella. You're like, you know, you see the outcome. You're like, okay, I mean... You look a little fucked up. Look, you know, the card game really helped you out on that one. But yeah, it's, it's wild. Like, if you really had a chance, like guaranteed, half of these people, you know, they go to car meets or whatever, even down to the fuck dumb fucks that are doing donuts. Yeah, but... You know, as... Those aren't people who were hurt. Those are people who were abandoned by the fathers. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I was fucking waiting for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. I got to do the... Uh... Hold on. He's trying to find the fucking bullshit little notification. <laughs> ah, that was beautiful. I want to do that all fucking time. Anyway, um, it just sucks. It just sucks in, in the aspect of that when you do see, it scares you a little bit. Yeah. To a certain degree, but at the same time, you kind of feel humbled that you're just like, well, me, me specifically, when they come into the team or whatever, and I end up, the team ends up helping, kind of make them more positive, I guess you could say. Absorbing their build and making it our own responsibility, yes, uh, <laughs> which we do. We do. Tell me we don't. No, we do, but I mean, in general, in, like in a, in a mental state, I'm talking about, like you make them feel better. Yeah, you know I mean? they're, they're they have person. fun. They they have they get to go out and this and that. And they forget about the issues at least for that moment. And you know, to a certain degree, me personally, no, it humbles you out. It does humble you out because I've always said it. I've had people on the team that have met one end of the spectrum, the other end of the spectrum. One is down to shit, you know, bad mood. Came in, not really believing in anything or anyone. Met somebody on the team, got married. And I've been part of their wedding. Oh, that's when you just went to. And invited to their wedding. I remember you telling me about you that. You know what I mean? So you get to see things, that me me specifically, from the outside in. You're like, they would have never met. If it wasn't for me. If it wasn't for the team. <laughs> they know, really. You self-centered prick. No, really. Because <laughs> no, they, I know No, you but you know what I mean? I want to sound like that. But <laughs> there's, there's a lot of, like, or I've gotten the, you know, I, I'm going to college. I have no idea what the fuck I want to do with my life. But you know what? I want a wrench. Automotive. Done. And they've become like insane certified mechanics. I wish I would have done it my life. You know I, what I mean? I really do wish I would have done that. And to a certain degree, maybe the chances are they probably would have done it anyway. You can always say that. Or, you know, for example, the weddings that I've seen and been a part of or invited to or whatever... Uh, maybe they would have met along the way. If you're one of those, I believe in destiny shit. Okay. Um, but, you know, your feet on the ground with the facts in front of you, you're, you're seeing Joe Schmo meet Pendeja Brown because they're part of one group. Yeah, and they have to socialize. And we all socialize, but they just happen to click. Also... Being in part of a team will really expose who you are um, socially, whether yeah, you're a because, piece of garbage or not. Yeah, but you know, and also you always get to see the the shy ones. You always get to you always that always happens. Really? Yeah, the timid's the timid's that it takes them like a while to really like warm up and 
kind of open the door. I wish you guys would have eased into me like that. No, fuck that. Fucking KY Jelly, no gloves on. You're Stop <laughs> doing shit like that because my father <laughs> even questioned me. Hey, are you guys, you know? I'm yeah, like, he is. He is. He totally is that. I'm just letting you know that. Why right would now. you do that? He likes it in the belly button, too. That's not funny. It is to me. I'm married. <laughs> Hello, sir. Um, uh, belly button, guys. Belly button. I'm still telling you, $20 cash out of me. I'll cough on this, dude. I'm going to unplug your mic, you fucking idiot. <laughs> what I was going to say was, um, more or less, <clears throat> I got broken in quick as far as the jokes went. Oh, man. That was, to, be, on, to be honest, that's been the fucking hardest. It was, it was even hard for me to swallow. I've seen some shit, okay? I've been a part of some shit, and I can write books. And, okay, uh, and how easy people break in the, like, the, the fresh blood in the team type this motherfucker. Tell the story. Tell the story. So I think I was working on Blue. And you, I think you rolled by the house. I think, the, Jesus Christ, it was like the beginning of what, COVID? No, this is or before like a, COVID. Or like a month or two before fucking COVID, to be honest. I know it was re- It was like right the timeline. That was line. the spring before COVID. Okay. We were all at the house. I was working on the truck. You rolled by. Oh, shit. There's people in the parking lot. And Let's swing in. And you stop by and say, what's up to everyone? I think, well, I think you had just... Just got on, maybe just like got on pretty two much. months, two months before or something like that. Like really mm. fresh, really fucking fresh. I didn't even know my teammates. Just got to hang out with Mikey for the first time because you ran into him or something. Uh, I'm driving on Wendy's yeah. or some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And we're like I said, we're all at the house. <laughs> uh, how the fuck did it even like? Now that I'm thinking about, it, how did it even get brought up? Because I think so. Jesse goes to me, "What nationality are you?" I'm like. Irish Italian Puerto Rican He goes Oh your mom's Puerto Rican I'm like No she's Irish Italian He goes What about your father My father's Puerto Rican He goes But you don't speak any Spanish I'm like I didn't grow up in that <laughs> Here he goes oh. Here he goes He goes I didn't I go to him I didn't grow up in the household with him He goes What so like You want to go buy a pack of cigarettes And never came back <laughs> That was Five minutes in <sighs> Right off the fucking rip I remember I just I was on the floor Like working on blue And I just looked up at him And I looked at snuff I was like, wow, I think this is going to be the fastest time record of ever losing a member that just walked into the house doors. But no, no, you took it. Uh, I looked at Jesse. I was like, something like that, That which isn't the truth, because my father did not abandon me. No, he went to go get milk. We know. I'm just kidding. He yes. listens to this. I He's know. met you, motherfucker. Know, he knows what your just, face looks I like. I know. It's just funny. It's just funny. I have to go with this now. <laughs> He's going to fold you into a piece of paper when he sees you. He likes it in the belly button. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, I, I can't <laughs> wait for him to punch you dead up in your chest. <laughs> oh, my God. Awful. Um, but, yeah, no. Like, yo, you took that. I remember. I was, like, literally there. I'm like, mm, this, this is not. This is too soon. This is too fucking soon. At least a week in or at least two hours. Fuck. Of talking at least. This guy was like, hi, nice to meet you. That left. Like, fuck. Shit. What? what? I'm going to go lay in the ground right now. I have a car go over me. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but it, I don't know. It's just one of those things that like now when I'm like sitting here, we're like talking, we're fucking reminiscing. It reminded me of all this crazy shit. It's just like, wow. It's just wow. But again, it goes down to, you know, and, and, and later on, you will be also part of, like, the stories I tell. Like, I was working on my car once and, like, fucking fresh blood right off, right from, like, joining. It showed up in my house and this and this happened and this and this happened. Same thing, you know, with the OGs. It's just one of those things that. It makes for a good story. It makes one for a fucking very good story. Uh. And two, later on, you know, your whole, the background, the background and how you got into the car game and what made you got into it and blah, 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 and blah, 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 and how you've taken in blah, 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 to where you are now. You know what I mean? It's all those things. But again, it, it's nice to see that the outlet has been modifying your car. It's my entire, like, whole point of the whole Again, thing. that modifying a car process will help a person grow in all kinds of directions a hundred percent from to be honest like i said i've had a pleasure meeting so many fucking cool people i've had a pleasure meeting not so many fucking cool people that's for a topic for a different day uh but in general the 
background stories and from meeting them, talking to them, you get to find out a little bit about them. And then instead of building a show car, they've done like a full out track car. They become like the mm -hmm. fastest in the state. You know what I mean? With records up the ass type shit. So, I mean, end of the day, am I saying, you know, everybody that gets into a fucking issue, jump into your car and start modifying it? No, not really. To be you, honest. You're a fucking damn liar because I got to say it helps. Um, but if you are interested and something is bothering you, yeah, Google online. Google your car customized. Get inspiration. Maybe <coughs> you never know. You might be the next fucking chip foos. Well, for all we know. Shit. Google your car stanced or Google your car wide body or Google your truck lifted. Yeah, it's true. A hundred percent. Like I said, it's. Everybody has their own thing. Most people, you know, some people write music. Other people fucking play games up the ass or they stream online. The car people have their wrench, have their tools and have their clicks and their crews and their boys and their girls, and, you know, and, and their groups, pretty much of friends. That it's wild when you really think about it, because like I said, if you really were to sit down and talk to everyone, everybody's gotten into this thing because of something. That's why when I saw so many mixed and matched builds during COVID, mm -hmm. I had a lot of hope for the car community. Yeah. Because that means they were progressing towards the end of their build, which means everybody had some sort of fucking struggle or was going through it or eating shit. Yeah, 100%. You know yeah. how many cars wound up on Facebook Marketplace or just parted out? Many. You said it too. I always called it. I always called After it. After COVID, you're not going to see as many of these cars. You'll see. Yeah, I'm like, you're going to get, yeah, I'm like, yeah, don't get excited now. I'm hopeful, but I'm not stupid. Half of this shit is going to land on Marketplace. And lo and behold. If you look at any cool car in Marketplace, 99% of the time it has a banner. Yeah. Sadly, yeah. 100% true. I mean, it sucks, but, you know, that's already like, you know, their own whatever happened. Yeah. And, and they had to, you know, decide type of thing, which I understand that too. So, you know, it's one of those things. Um, but I feel like anybody that at least, I would hope anybody that at least that listens to us is somewhat into the car game. Whether yeah. whether you're a beginner, you know, you, know you, you don't know your ass from your elbow yet, but you know what? You're trying to learn. And you're trying to read and you're trying to see images. And, you know where you want to go. And YouTube videos and blah, blah, blah. You have an idea, at least, to, you know, the ones that have full car done and built already. That like just us. that just listen to listen. Uh, we hope that this always relates. You know, always every single episode we've ever done, it's always been personal stories, uh, stories from like back in the days, uh, to stuff that we see personal happen like the and last day weekend, to day. yeah, and just normal day to day bullshit that we live with. That we live with because I've always said it: this car game is not for the faint of heart. To begin with. And if you didn't want to be here, you should collect Pokemon cards. 100%. You're like, you know what I mean? Now's your chance. You know, exit and stage right. Because honestly, it's not. It's really not for the faint of heart. I mean, it never was. But I feel like between playing into this mental health thing, uh, Instagram, Facebook, the likes, the YouTube videos, the follower count... <laughs> Everything that you see online now, for a beginner, I can see how it can become overwhelming or be like, oh, why am I fucking even going to be in this bullshit? It looks intimidating. It looks intimidating. And I get that. Fucking Christ. I know people with full out builds and it's still kind of like, oh, what the fuck? Bro, we've ranted about it. We've ranted about it. Yes, we have. You know what I mean? Not to, and I've always say, not to say that our shit's the top shit in the fucking world, but I deserve a few more likes than the one that's missing a fucking windshield. Mm. You know what I mean? That's to say it lightly. <laughs> but I think everybody has, but again, we say that in relation that I'm pretty sure everybody else can relate to. Oh, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure everybody that has a nice build, a dope build, clean build, whatever you want to call it, and you see a counterpart that is missing a fender or a butchered hood. But there's an OnlyFans in the fucking bio. But that's a, already a different topic because oh, we can go down that rabbit hole and that's a different thing. 
we can get into that another day. That still gets a million likes. It always will be. That's, uh, sex sells, nigga. It, it, that's just how it goes. It sucks <laughs> and it's stupid. Um, it's and Dumb. it sucks more for the female enthusiast that actually really does wrench. Which I see a lot of that on Instagram too. I commend that. And I commend that, and I respect that. And it's one of those things that you know what you're not really following the line. You're kind of following your own path. Mm-hmm. Not that saying there's anything wrong with OnlyFans. Yo, if that makes the buck, that makes the fucking buck. And if that's going to get you your three-piece rules and your air right and your white body kit, fucking girl, rock it out. I'll show a titty too. Fuck yeah, that. Yeah, if the fucking suck makes a buck, go for it. I don't care. It is what it is. I, I, I respect the hustle. But if you didn't build your fucking car and your boyfriend did, eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, my, but the whole premise of it is I can see how it would be intimidating, especially now. I always say back then when we were doing this because... What the fuck did you have at most? MySpace? Div layouts? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's pretty much it. Your top 20 friends list that you have in the corner? I kept that at six. Well, it's, I, I always had the team, guys. Those were always first. Everybody else can suck a dick. <laughs> but but it is, it's funny, but, you know, what did we really have? Nothing. MySpace. Tumblr. Really. And even that, but that was never really, you know, to post pictures, get likes like that. It was never. I loved it. It was never to what it is now with like IG and TikTok. Forget it. It's another one. Speaking of, I haven't checked my TikTok in a minute. What the fuck's so random? Uh, every time I do, I get some weird notifications like people that I don't talk to looking at my profile. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a normal. That's always a fun thing. And like I, I sh- opened this shit up to a hundred something likes the other day, which was pretty cool. That's oh, good. Look. I love how that's playing already in the background. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, no, no, it just starts off on that shit. Stop it. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, it's one of those things that for everyone that does listen, we always try to at least bring it down to earth that it's relatable to everyone that listens. Yeah. Um, Extremely relatable to anybody yeah. who's in the car yeah. game. Like, you know. To a certain degree, even down to like other people that have crews in the stories I've told. I'm pretty sure you guys have similar fucking stories. Uh, but when it comes to the mental health game of it, like if you're like I said, if you're listening to this, it's because you love the car game. Or at least you're interested enough in it to be listening to it to to a certain extent. To an extent. Uh, and yeah, a hundred percent. If if this is the way that helps you build and grow, go for it in the car side and also you yourself. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Take it and run. Take it and run because you know what? Not many people have an outlet. Not many people have a way to escape for a minute, five minutes, an hour. And I feel like we're the blessed ones that do. Absolutely right. If it gives you any clarity, if it gives you, know you any I mean? happiness, bathe in it, breathe in it, everything. Because that's, you know, for not for nothing, but, you know, what's the suicide rates ever since fucking COVID? They're through the fucking roof. You know what I mean? And, you know, now that we're talking really about the mental health game, uh, every time I do see the news, I don't know if anybody else that listens has this brain fart, but I always do have that brain fart. Like, damn, I wonder if they had a custom car. That's, and it's stupid. Yo, it's so crazy it's that stupid. I think that. It's stupid when you really no, no, think no, no, that no, no, because... because no, I, I, I get the same way. I don't want to sound like an asshole, be like, you know, fuck his family. No, or but that would save them. Kids or whatever. The first thing that always fucking pops into my head is... Pardo? Uh, you're in a, <laughs> wow. Fucking Wow. <laughs> Not even me, people. I fucking hate mail at c 4com I already see it coming. No, what I'm um, saying is it would it could have saved them and pulled them out of a hole. Yes, I. That's exactly. Yeah, it's one of those things that again I don't want to sound like an asshole. Be like, oh my god, this guy thinks about his fucking cars. But no, really, think about it. If they were going through such a hard time, but they had the car to wrench on, they would probably still be here. No, you can't say it in that tone. Well. Y- I'm saying in they, in a they nice would have way. A, a will to live. Exactly, a, a, a second chance to really. You know what? Instead of doing this thing, I'm gonna um, focus on gonna this. do this. <coughs> Unless your name is Stancy Pants, in which case, if you are sad, oh fucking Christ! Here, no, I'm, oh kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm. But you kidding. know what? I have to add it. Yeah, hold that, Stancy Pants. Um, completely lost my train of thought with that one. Uh, but again, to go back into this, I, I do think f- about that. I do feel like, like I said, every time it pops in the news, I'm always like, damn, yo. I wonder if they had a car. 
because again, everybody's problems are different. Everybody's problems are, you know, they're on different levels. And I get that. I understand that and respect that. But I do feel like if they had a project car or a drift car or something, you know, maybe would have helped. And the case, other side of the coin, I do see and read on, on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, other people that have been in the car game. And they do go out that way, regardless of having a custom car or not. So it sucks. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. Me personally, I do feel like leaning towards the car side is a positive way of leaning into like whatever is bothering you. Leaning into if life. If you're not really one of those that like, I want, I want to talk to people, you know, I want to fucking talk to this guy or this guy or that. I just want to be by myself and boom, wrench. You know, it, it all comes down to, you know, people's demons at the end of the day, which sadly it kind of has to go down that road. Um, it's just me personally. I do feel like maybe the car side would have helped to a certain degree. But again, like I said, other side of the coin is I've read on people that have sadly passed that way and they were part of the car game. And then the only thing I can think of is, well, the same way we see everything on the news now that, you know, these bullies in high school, then they come back with a gun and everything that we see online. Is it slowly turning into the car stuff too? Because that's a train of thought I get. Send the kids. Like, do are like oh, people shit. making fun of the cars enough that it's triggering these problems? Well, let's Two? be fair. I only say that, I only ask that because of the car people that I've read on online that were car people and they go out sadly that way. You know what I mean? That's the only thing. I'm like, I wonder if they were just bullied. You think they ragged on somebody's car enough to have them check out early? You never know. Granted, you know, I don't know personally these people. It's just stuff that I read like, hey, you know, miss you, blah, 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 rest in peace. And but when you see, a, chances are people that are posting is posting a picture of your car or whatever. Oh, but their cars are done. Suck. Like they go shows, they go events, they do stuff. So you're like, I mean, on one hand, I can see how the car game helps. But then you see stuff like that. You're just like, mm. did they get ragged on? You know what I mean? It kind of leaves you with that question in your mark. That question mark, at least. You just... Hold on. You just actually opened my eyes to something, and I, I kind of remember it happening, and it mm -hmm. kind of bothers me a little bit now. What? Um, do you remember Louis? Mm. He had a satin metallic red ATS V. Yes, that you told me about. Yes, yes, yes. I never met him personally, but you always talked to me about him. Car game lost him because he went back into old habits. And you know what I mean? And he was, I mean, from the pictures but that he, he showed he, me in the car, he was... He came out of it thanks to the card game. But then he slowly got back. He, I guess I'm assuming he slowly got back into it, whatever his old yeah. habits or whatever. Yeah. Um, but again, that makes you think. Because on one end... What if there are more mods for his fucking car? <laughs> that's where you're going. No, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? So like, but no, I get it. I get it. It's one of those things that, like I said, I see it in a positive way that the card game could definitely help. But then you get these little instances that you're just like, mm. I wonder what happened. You know what I mean? Because granted, everybody's demons are their demons and their problems. I get it. Their own personal levels. I understand that 100%. But I always feel like there's a way out positively that you can stay focused on something and, and, and just push, push through. through. You yes. know what I mean? Uh -huh. Even if you have nobody else pushing you, you can find something to help you like grab on and go. Type of thing. Cars. That's why I always say cars. Show up to a meet, do the meets, do the car shows, uh, go to your cars and coffees, small talk with the pretty girl across from you. Yeah. Um, and that's the only sense you'll ever hear me say yes to a meet, to be 100% honest. Two different ways that can go. It can go down that you become a takeover kid or it becomes a thing that you can kind of like... Socialize. And socialize segue. a little bit and segue out to your own thing and... and you know, do something great. So that's already like, you know, 50-50 chance there. But at least it's better than the alternative. Again, if you guys have a friend and you see them starting to um, dwindle, I guess you could say, push them to do their build. Help them along with it. Don't be shy too, because that means you can keep them. It's better to keep them than getting the phone call and having to show up yeah. somewhere with the suit on. And even if, let's say, for example, they really aren't into cars or they really don't care for it, 
chances are if you bring them with you and they just stare at you work, you're on point anyway. You're hanging out. Yo, bro, do me a favor. Uh, give me the wrench. Even I'm, if they bring you the wrong one. No, no, no. I'll teach you. Hold on. This is the wrench I needed. 10 mil. Because you don't know if maybe that's the route that, you know. Unless. That will kind of. Hold on. Unless you walk over there and you ask for the 10 mil and they say it's not there. <laughs> you're so stupid. <laughs> then you can David, Cop David Copperfield it out of your fucking <laughs> other shelf that you hit it in. But I don't know. It, it's one of those things because there's so many different aspects to the whole entire mental mental like life and mental games and mental problems. And all mental that. health in the car society. Um, the car community, I guess you could call it. Yeah, in the car community. Uh, it's just I feel like me personally, I'm always going to be like, start with your car. Just start with your car and see where it takes you. Pick a platform. And pick a platform. Whatever. Even if you can afford a platform, whatever. What the fuck are you driving? A Civic? Yeah. A Camry? You know what I mean? It's one of those things. And if there's nothing for it, get you creative. Get, you get fucking creative. Look at the mentions that it's got and cars that are close to it. Buy a lip off eBay for 40 bucks. Chop it up. Who cares? Because again, I'm, 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 living, <coughs> I'm a living testament to the fact of the stories I've heard and I've met in person. Of, you know, the backstories of everyone type of thing. Yeah. That's why I can be like, I can stand here and be like, no, no, no. Cars will help. Cars will definitely help. But again, you do find those few little side stories that kind of leave you. Is the car game really like, really, this is what they're doing? Like, it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder. That's all. Again, everybody's problems, you you never really know. Sally, yeah. you never really do. Um, but just again. You find your friends, your crew members, or whatever the hell, they're looking down, they're feeling bad, whatever the case may be. Yo, get them back in. Send them a, hold on, send them an eBay listing of a mod for their car. Yeah, find something that makes them tick that you know will be like, ooh, ooh, I like that. Um, then what do you do on Saturday? Let's install it. Yeah, exactly. Yo, get it. We'll just bang out some beers and fucking just work on it and like hang out for the rest of the day type shit. Worst comes to worst, you sit there doing therapy with them. Because end of the day, you're saving a person from themselves, but you're also we're also not losing a car person in the grand scheme of the car community as a whole. I know this is deep as shit. Out of no, all this our is fucking, beautiful, dude. Out of all our episodes, I think this is one of our deepest ones, um, if not the deepest one. But I don't know. Like I said, it's... It's beautiful one way, questionable sometimes with the little side stories. Like like I said, you, you yeah, read yeah, on and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. That, But again, it's one of those things when I see it online or I see it on the news, I'm like, fuck, man, they were into cars. I think the same thing. It's, it's, and again, my, my, my question is, I wonder if they had a show car. Exactly. I wonder if they had a show car or a track car or something. You automatically start running like scenarios in your head like, what the fuck? But again, it. Is it maybe the right way to think? Maybe, probably well, not. Listen, but at least in our side of like thinking because we're in this like day in and day out type shit, it's the way we think. How many people have you seen in a fully built car driving on the street sad? Never. No one. How many people have you seen lined up at that line waiting for that tree to light up with yeah. a sad face on? Never. No one. How many people have you seen in a drift tandem side by side with the next car? <laughs> With a sad face on. Only if they're losing. Uh, no, no one, no one. Nobody. <laughs> it's true, though. <clears throat> That's a, well, exactly why I'm always like, you feel bad? Work on your car. You feel down? Work on your fucking car. You feel uh, it's a shitty day? Go wash your car. Polish the wheels out. Clean the windows. Clean the interior. Go for a drive. Go, go for a simple thing. Just go for a night drive. Oh, hold on. What? Put an exhaust on it. Take it for a ride. <laughs> but it's true though you listening to it <coughs> you Hold know how, you know how many people or even stories i see online just, of <coughs> just choked on water that's uh, how real it is of people that are just going on night drives <coughs> it'll be you'll be amazed at how many people like randomly i'll be rolling through stories and it's just nighttime driving i love that you know what i mean and i totally get it because it's a fucking mental escape mm. you know what i mean and you're just enjoying you, the car, and the sound. And that there's nothing there, no one there, no problems, at least for whatever you're cruising. Maybe a radio. Yeah, maybe a little bit of beats, but chances are you probably don't even have it that loud. 
you're just normal level and you're just enjoying the moment type thing. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. That's why I always say and I always will say car game. Car game 100%. Again, questionable when you see the side stories and you read those type of things and you do find out later on that they were, you know, car people or whatever. Always makes you wonder a little bit more. But, like I said, if you know anyone, get them into the car game, send them a link. I mean, you're going to know them best. That's my best, you know, advice. Shit that they like, send it. A link. Hey, look, uh, they found the shirt of a fucking Too Fast, Too Furious. Send it, bro. Who gives a shit? If you know he's a fan of that, bro, send it. If he's a muscle car guy with a truck, send him that little stupid American flag livery for his back window. Yeah, just something dumb. Just something... Thought of you, dude. We should probably install this. You never know how much of a footstep you will take in somebody's life or the the exit they'll take. You know what I mean? That... Instead of thinking one way, you kind of reeled them back in without you even knowing. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. So I don't know. Like I said, hopefully this is a little bit of insight for all those uh, listening. Uh, and again, you have uh, problems, issues, whatever. And even listening to our dumbasses is some type of fucking mental escape. Hey, kudos to you. Keep going. Keep pushing. Keep building. And that's it. Also, I'd like to take time to tell everybody that C4 is recruiting for the 2024 season. Oh, wow. You're going to pick the fucking most deepest <laughs> episode we've ever done. But yes, we are. Yes, we are for 2024. Shut up and let me talk. Go for it. Go for it. Um, as our <clears throat> base of applicants grow, please be mindful. If there is potential with your car, we will have an open mind. If you are just a send it kid, we will catch that and we will not allow it. Um, but again, we have to see potential. We want to see potential. We want to see growth. We want to see expansion of who you are. We want all that stuff. Yeah. Sim- sim- nicely said. If you have no friends, we'll be your friends. Yeah. One way or another. You're getting out of that to break up or whatever it is. We'll find somebody for you. She's probably going to drive a civic, but it's going to be okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, a hundred percent. We've got some girls that everybody gets to ride on the civic. You're so stupid. Oh, sorry. I was supposed to say that. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Uh, we do grab butts. <coughs> we do grab butts also on the weekends, and uh, we're not a sex cult. We just do a lot of team building. So I'll just leave it there. I hate that you used that line. It's such a fucking good slogan, though. Anyway, because you better believe there's gonna be like the one or two guys that'll be like, "Yeah, I'm down for that." <laughs> so what I'm saying is, um, again, use us as an outlet, even if you want to. Yeah, like I said, we don't know. In the day, we only hope, based on our listener base, that. It's some type of escape, some type of relief. They like listening to our dumbasses talk, and, you know, it's one of those things. So th- that's why we say if it works and this is also an outlet, kudos. If you like today's episode, you can follow the C4 Garage. Uh, the C4 Garage is where I have my personal builds. Uh, you can follow the Team C4 page, Team C4. Uh, the business page is C4 Lifestyle. The media page, C4 Lifestyle Media. I'll give yours too, nigga. Uh, I am Z33Snuff on instagram and uh yeah i think that's pretty much it but yeah hopefully this is a little bit of a good insight again keep building keep progressing keep growing let's not lose any more car people and car girls and car guys and everything else in between and yeah keep it custom my friends because life's way too short to stay stock love you babe